Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. On the 15th of September 2021, Australian time, Rapzilla made the following statement, which I believe is in regards to the recent intention. The video Rapzilla Hasn't Changed by Redsky has gotten. Rapzilla's statement is as follows. I want to be clear. I was internet stalked in 2018. It was horrible and the law was involved. The same person said they were my girlfriend and we e-dated. They said I gave them my address in Tennessee, where I lived in a trailer park and told them to come and visit. This person is sick and needs help. I've never lived in a trailer park in Tennessee. That is not the state I live in. I've never e-dated anyone and have only dated four people in my life. I've never given anyone my address, nor has my address been listed online willingly. I've been trying my best to not give these people any attention. Now you may be confused as to why I'm even covering this. Well, one of the reasons is that he's calling into question my own content. Because I interviewed and released an interview with the person in question last year. And this is the only interview that she's ever given. They also don't have a platform, the person I interviewed that he's talking about. In saying that, people who have seen the interview that I did and some videos surrounding Rapzilla in recent times would just shrug this off because it falls into his pattern of behavior. So maybe this video isn't for you. You don't want what he said clarified or you don't have any questions about it, whether it be that you fully believe it or you fully don't. Let's start at the start. He says, I was internet stalked in 2018, which is an interesting statement, as he previously said in 2019. At the beginning of last year, I was involved in a serious stalking case that started online. Many of you might remember, it got real when they started sending me pictures of me live streaming outside of my house, and they started calling my girlfriend and family. Which, I'm sorry Rep, but if she did as you claimed, that is not online stalking. That is actually legitimate real life stalking. In a video which is now entitled About Reptilla Stalker, which was previously titled Speaking of My Stalker, he said that he contacted the authorities and she had been taking photos of his live stream. And it got, it got so severe that I actually had to talk to the authorities about it because the people, the person, the, the person, the girl, was uh, reaching out to my friends and my family and taking pictures of me on my live streams and it was getting it was getting pretty creepy he had mentioned to his followers that he wrote a police report about me yeah um, saying that i was at his house i was stalking him i was harassing him basically um made up lies that i was at his house and I don't think that that's possible because I, I live in Toronto yeah. and I he lives in Tennessee and I it makes no sense that I would pack up my, my stuff and leave work um, from Monday to Friday. I work Monday to Friday yeah. and I just leave work and I'd pack up and I'd just randomly go to his house in Tennessee. Although I will admit that I don't know how that works. Like if he reported her, I don't know if she would get told. And also, it may or may not add further complication that he lives in America and she lives in Canada. I don't know how the legal system works around police reports and such. In a live stream from 2018, he actually reads out some of the messages and claims that she was his first stalker. Granted, this was prior to the About Redzilla Stalker video. After he reads out the messages, he clarifies a bit further and says that he had to block her from his YouTube channel. And she reached out on Instagram and Twitter, but he blocked her to save her from the rap squad. I don't want a small person near me. Thanks. Peace out, Home Biscuit. And at that point, uh, I had to uh, block her from my YouTube channel. If you think that's, that's as bad as it got, I woke up this morning and she was commenting on my Instagram. She even commented on my Twitter. And I had to delete, the, block her off of Instagram and block her off of Twitter uh, because I knew that if you guys saw that stuff, you guys would tear her a new one. So I was just really saving her from you guys. Which is strange, seeing as he quote tweeted her and said the Red Squad would teach her manners before he blocked her. Also, the conversation was in Facebook DMs to my knowledge that him and her had. 
He also claims that she said that she was his girlfriend and that they e-dated. I know it isn't true that they dated, but I can see how it could be misconceived as such. In the interview I did with her that went out last year, she says at the start of that interview that they had a few conversations about getting to know each other, dating each other. He added me on Facebook. Um, afterwards, we had a few conversations that were private about getting to know each other, dating each other, um, becoming friends. Just... This does not mean that they were dating. It means that they were talking. He even says in his live stream that he said that she could still visit. She said, maybe it's for the better. I'm going into the Canadian Air Force. I'll probably marry a pilot at this point from now on. We'll just be friends. And I'm not going to visit you. And I was like, sounds good to me. And then I was just being nice. So I said, you can visit if you decide to. Just let me know. So she says, I don't want to. And then I was like, whatever you want. She does also go on to say that he couldn't handle when I broke up with him. To my understanding, as she didn't mention that they dated at any stage outside of that in the interview, the breaking up comment referred to them simply stopping talking as they didn't date. It's not like a relationship breakup, it's more a stopping talking thing. But as I said, I could understand how that could be misconceived as them dating. Then he says, they said I gave them my address in Tennessee where I lived in a trailer park and told them to come and visit. I would also like to add the part where he says I have never lived in a trailer park in Tennessee. That's not the state I live in. For starters, you said that she could visit, which I had previously mentioned, in a live stream reading out messages between you two. She claims that he lived in a trailer park, but the legitimacy of that is unknown. It's her word against his in that case. Also, no one said that you lived in Tennessee at the moment. She spoke about Tennessee in the interview because you lived in Tennessee at the time of your interaction with her. Example 1, your band camp, which has songs from February 2017, it states that you lived in Tennessee. And in 2018, both before and after the stalker video on Twitter, your location says Chattanooga, Tennessee, as we can see by the Wayback Machine. Also, in his initial tweet about her, he said that she talked down about people who lived in trailers, which he says in his live stream, where he says that she said something along the lines of, do you like girls who live in trailers, or something like that. I'd like to make it clear, and I should have a long time ago, that I don't agree with the lady I interviewed talking down about people who live in trailers. As I said, it's her word against his, but honestly, even if he doesn't live in a trailer park, that doesn't give him reason to claim that she stalked him and harassed her off social media and put out her name and face on a YouTube live stream, which is still online. And it also doesn't make Redsky's video invalid. In fact, as soon as Redsky found out that Rebzilla had put out this statement, he put in his comment section and pinned a comment making a correction. He then goes on to say, I've never given anyone my address, nor has my address been listed online willingly. I've been trying my best not to give these people attention. And I'm going to take his word for that. I can't say whether or not he's given anyone his address. And I can't imagine that you would really want your address online willingly unless you had like a post office box. But usually post office boxes aren't actually your address. so. That, to me at least, makes sense. Uh, him saying that he was trying his best not to give these people attention. To my knowledge, he made a statement a day or two prior to that about, I would assume, Redsky's video. I don't know. Uh, this is a tweet that exists. He took down the previous tweet because, well, he kind of explains it. I don't know about him not giving these people attention. He also responded to Premier's video when that came out, technically twice. Uh, in video form, but I guess if you're losing followers or whatever, then it's good to kind of address it, or you can just try and block people like he does and just act like the Red Squad's in their own happy little world. I mean, there's one or two ways, you know. I'm kind of surprised he even spoke about it, but yeah. Hopefully this video was somewhat informative and interesting. Let me interrupt for a second. Sorry for the change of lighting, but Rebzilla has further elaborated on his statement in a community post, which was posted at around midnight Australian time, hence why it's dark. Someone let me know in the comments of a recent community post talking about this video that you're watching going online. I did think it was fair to just leave the video as it was, 
and have a big hole in the video. So let's go over what he's added to it. But he says, additionally, the person admitted to finding what my place looks like by watching my live streams. The keywords are that it was a house and not in Tennessee. This person admits to taking screenshots of me in my live stream outside my house and sending them to me, which were from alt accounts. This person said they were that they Google mapped my address and it was in the trailer park in Tennessee. Sorry, this person found out what your house looked like, but it wasn't your house. Was they saying they took screenshots of you in your live stream outside of your house? It's far different from what you've said previously. You said that they took photos outside of your house, which you now say actually isn't your house. As you say you didn't live in a trailer park. She did say she googled your address though. So what did they actually do? Take screenshots of your house from a live stream and send it to you? Well, she says that she took a screenshot of the house, presumably to know where she was going. She visited, which I previously mentioned you said that she could visit. That's not stalking. We previously went over the thing about you living in Tennessee. Also, the connotation of alt accounts is a bit iffy, but there isn't much point in debating it. I don't know if it could be proven though. I could be proven wrong. They've also admitted to having conversations with my girlfriend at the time. I was not in any relationship at this time, but they refer to someone I would eventually be in a relationship with. They said my girlfriend reached out to them and was mean to them. This is categorically false. Abdilla has posted about this previously on Twitter and shown the screenshots. She addressed it in the interview and said that she doesn't recall it. Let's watch the clip. He made up a bunch of random profiles and I was reaching out to him yes. under fake names. Um, I, don't, I don't recall that. Yeah. First I messaged my girlfriend on Facebook from an anonymous account and called her a slut and that she was too smart for us. Several members of my family were messaged as well. I had not told anyone I was internet stalked at this time, but as it progressed, I had to tell them so that they could block suspicious accounts for safety, as pictures of my family started popping up on the internet. The pictures of my family thing has changed again, I guess, because originally it was me who did it, but now I guess it's her. The accusation towards me was simply hearsay, as he said in 2019 that someone told him I leaked photos of his family, which if you don't know, I didn't do. He's saying this, I had to tell them so they could block suspicious accounts for safety as pictures of my family started popping up on the internet. I did live in Tennessee in 2016 to be closer to my job. I lived in a third floor apartment in the city. I was not making commentary YouTube videos at this time and didn't have a following. I was hit by a car at the end of 2016 and was hospitalized and in rehabilitation for the first part of 2017, forcing me to move back to my home state. I would contest the last part of this, but I'm not sure what the point is. I showed earlier that his band camp, which was only active in 2017, showed that he lived in Tennessee, and so did his Twitter before and after the About Reptilia Stalker video. I was still new on YouTube at this time and didn't know the danger that came with putting yourself online. My personal accounts were not private, and I didn't care to private them because I didn't think anything like this would ever happen to me, so I thought it was okay to add people. I understand this and honestly I was the same for the most part until Repzilla put out my Facebook face and name, I mean profile picture not face, sorry, which I had changed to another name when I started having multiple YouTubers on my personal account. I currently do not have any YouTubers to my knowledge on my account and my name has since been changed since he put it out there in some screenshots. The person who internet stalked me reached out around mid-2018 and conversed with me on and off for about 6 to 8 days saying creepy things about how they want to be intimate with me. As I tried to be friendly to de-escalate the situation and let them down softly, even told them I was fine being their friend as they previously told me how lonely they were. Still, I was eventually forced to reject and block them after they became aggressive. I have an interesting screenshot for you. It doesn't justify anything or disprove anything, but here's a screenshot of him giving her his Facebook. His Facebook name is blocked out for privacy reasons. I think most of this adds up, some of which I hadn't heard before, although the blocking thing I will refer back to him telling her that the Rep Squad would teach her manners. They made several alt accounts across various social media saying awful things. I blocked every new account that popped up. Things kept progressing and I became paranoid for my safety and the safety of my cat. I decided it was best that I move, again, not in Tennessee or a trailer. I'm now under the impression that this person never knew where I lived, as they've made clear. This section is a bit of a roller coaster, once again. 
I do not know about the old accounts, but they have said that they don't recall it. They, as in the person I interviewed. Rep did previously state that he was afraid for the safety of Greg in a 2019 post, so that adds up. He has since moved. You can simply tell by the change in background, although he did state that he moved in 2018 at one stage, which was, as far as I could make out, not true. Here's a segment of me going over it from another video. Tweet 4 talks about when I made my speaking Repzilla video, in which he states that he was in the process of moving during. Yet his tweets around then state that he was taking a break from YouTube. A tweet from two days before my video says, Heads up, I'm going to take a break for a few days from normal video so I can get the Repzilla website finished. Some collab stuff and other surprises. I will still be doing some IRL live streaming. A mode should be rolling out today. I made my grass and you are awesome. And he even gave day one progress. Repzilla, day off number one. Tick. Expect the official Repzilla Discord server. Tick. Sponsor only in chat emotes for live streams and comments. Tick. Official logo release. Teaser. It has Greg's face on it. Tick. Live stream today. The live stream that he did during the break is still online. He even said it in his speaking of my stalker video that he had been doing stuff on his Discord while he was away. Now it's time to show you what did I do on my days off. Well, we got a Discord channel. The Discord channel is awesome. Clearly, we got the server info. If you look, the background didn't change at all. Meaning, or implying that he didn't move house. Also, saying they never knew where you lived makes your previous claims bizarre. Since then, I privated every personal account. I stopped IRL live streams that I love doing. Many of you want to know why, this is the reason. I stopped including people in my YouTube channel. I've almost stopped talking about my personal life altogether and became very protective over what I do share. Also, the live stream thing doesn't make too much sense. Including people in the channel is a personal choice and it's not fair for me to assume why that stopped or didn't. I'll take his word for that in that instance. I'm uncomfortable talking about it, but I feel pressure to do so. This kind of thing changes you as a person. When people reach out to me, I'm hesitant to speak with them at all. I usually don't anymore outside of a few positive words or follow up on a topic for a video. I've even turned off DMs entirely on some of my public social media for what I felt was literal safety. I'm taking this very seriously and I'll be contacting the authorities to see if I can get records of when they patrolled my home to see what else I could do about it. When I talked to them in 2018, they told me nothing could be done unless the stalker actually did something physical. No one deserves this kind of treatment, especially when you say no multiple times and make clear you want nothing to do with said person. I will keep you posted. He previously mentioned about the patrol in his premium response video, which seems very strange if he has said that they didn't actually know where he lived. So that was interesting. I'm currently recording me reading the statement, now just kind of saying like bye and like ending the video. But what I will do is in between the bits of the statement, I will. Uh, further clarify with what I can because uh, I have addressed a little bit of this previously but yeah some of it does add up and make sense to things you said before but some of it also doesn't and some of it simply can't be proven either way but yeah anyway uh, here's the original end to the video but yeah but yeah thanks for watching and peace